Good morning, you guys. We're balancing on a water bottle, so hopefully it doesn't fall. But welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Caitlin. I do a lot of like wellness, fitness, lifestyle content on my page. So if you're new, hi. If you're not new, thank you for watching another one of my videos. Today's video is probably going to be my favorite video I've ever posted on my channel for obvious reasons. We're bringing home our seven week old puppy. She's a double doodle. We're literally so excited. Me and my boyfriend Hunter, we live together. If you guys are new here, we live in Tempe, Arizona, right next to ASU. And we're getting a puppy today, which is insane. We actually didn't know that we were getting a puppy less than a week ago it doesn't even feel real obviously we knew that we wanted a dog and we've been looking but it just happened to work out super quick i explained this a little bit more in the end of my last vlog and added some footage but pretty much one of my friends had a family friend with a litter we reached out to them they called us and then she ended up being available in like three days i don't want you guys to be confused or if you're new to my channel i just like wanted to explain it really quickly and i kind of just like jump right into this video right before we get her we stopped at starbucks and got like a few things that we needed at PetSmart for her so you guys will see that in a minute but really Really quickly I wanted to mention the sponsor of today's video which is actually Orate. I've worked with Orate so many different times. They have my favorite affordable yet super quality pieces of jewelry. I wear them every single day. They don't tarnish. I specifically love them because they have super simple styles. They also do have like statement pieces but I tend to go for the simple pieces just because I work out a lot and I hate when jewelry gets in the way of like my workouts or I have to constantly take them off. Orate is jewelry that I wear 24 7. I shower in it, sleep in it. I just like don't take it off. I also get so many any questions about it in public and also in person not only do I love or its pieces but I also love them as a company they're actually four women five women they also do good for the community and they have insanely high quality pieces if you guys want to check out or I'm gonna link everything down below that I wear every single day or you can visit or at New York.com slash Caitlin and use code Caitlin you'll get 20% off your order that's a u r a t e New York.com slash Caitlin for 20% off also don't forget that they partnered with Klarna which means you can buy now and pay over time Time, which makes it super accessible. I love them so much. Thank you again, Ori, for sponsoring today's video. And let's go get our puppy. Hi, can I do a Vetsy Vanilla Sweet Cream Cold Brew? We also do a grande ice uh, coffee, one pump of white mocha, and a light splash of oat milk. Can I get an ice? <laughs> I always choke. What am I supposed to order? That was me. Remember, I used to do that. I know. I got my usual. One pump of white mocha is actually pretty decent amount of sweetness so if you do like sweet coffee you might like it it's just like the perfect amount and it tastes like a sugar cookie i should probably try the that sugar coffee is not sweet no, the taste does not think it's sweet thank you yeah next stop we're actually going to home goods we heard that home goods is like the best place to get dog stuff because it's so much cheaper every single home goods is different so i can't really link anything that i get for you guys but i'll try and like look on amazon and get things as similar as possible to link down below in case some of you guys are getting puppies but we'll see you guys at home goods literally the first time we've ever had to shop at the pet shop at home goods <laughs> okay Definitely need a dog bed. I feel like we should get two. One for the bed, like, in the crate. And then we're gonna need a dog bowl. Definitely bigger. She's gonna get pretty big. You guys know I'm getting this avocado toy. <laughs> now you have to pick up one that you think fits your aesthetic. <laughs> That's cute. Is there a computer? Next time we see you, we're gonna have our cutie little Coco. Guys, I'm in love. The whole car ride home. She was calm. I didn't want to film right away because I feel like I was scared she was going to be nervous on the ride home. But she was so good. Look how cute. She's the softest little cuddle bug ever. Do you love her already? Mm -hmm. Stop. Coco's first YouTube vlog. She's so calm. She's scared. <laughs> <laughs> She's so precious. She's literally precious. Okay, are you ready? Let's go inside. <laughs> Look at your new home. This is all yours. Your home forever. Come for mommy. I love you. You're such a good girl. You're so good. Yeah. Private kissy. Do you like home? We talked to the breeder. They said that she was already sleeping through the night from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. So that's good. And she's already pee pad trained. Obviously, we'll do everything else. Like, how did we get so lucky? Look at her. She's a double doodle. So she's a labradoodle and poodle. Is that what a double, or in a no, golden, golden doodle. doodle and a labradoodle. The vlog camera is gonna be your new best friend. And they are your new best friends too. I think the white rug might not last that long with a new puppy, but we still have our other rug from our last apartment so we can always switch it out. Are you coming back to mom? <laughs> Look at you. Did you hear dad with the chew toy? <laughs> We got you a little avocado. 
<laughs> she likes it. Is there any like tag on it or anything? Uh, I already took off the tag. It's a little bit later now. We're trying to figure out where we want to put her crate because Hunter's setup, this is like his gaming setup, is in our bedroom, but we're thinking that we're going to move it by our front door. We have like a huge area by the front door that we don't use. Obviously, we want her like right next to us when we sleep and I sleep on this side. I want to like be able to look at her and stuff at night. My aunt is over. She's like, she's in love with dogs. So we wanted someone to help us. My parents are also about to come over. So what we're doing is just like moving our bedroom around, trying to see where we can fit the crate that we bought her. Okay, first six hours with the puppy. What's your consensus? She is so cute. Okay, my parents ended up coming over. We picked up Takaya for dinner. You guys know we're obsessed with it. Mom got the tortilla soup. I didn't even know that they had tortilla soup, but that looks so good. I got the usual taco salad. I get Diablo chicken on it, and then I subbed the dressing for the Chipotle agave dressing. It's so good there. Hunter gets a fajita bowl, and then we got a bunch of chips and salsa. They have the best chips and salsa. We also got a guac with the pomegranate seeds, but it didn't come, which is sad, because that's like the best part. We're just gonna eat also. Update on Coco. She is fully asleep and in the crate, does not care. <laughs> Update on the room, we emptied out Hunter's desk so we could put our crate right here because we want to have her next to us when we sleep. Do you know? Make sure it's not in the car. The fact that we're going to have the crate in our room just is mind-blowing to me right now. So cute. And baby will be in here. My grand puppy. Your grand puppy. My grand puppy. made my breakfast. I did some banana oats with the pumpkin pie spice. Gonna eat this next to Coco. Hi. She's so cute. Hunter and I went and picked up some Starbucks this morning too. We were literally so tired. I got a Pike Place with one pump of the new sugar cookie syrup. It's so good. You should try it. <laughs> we got literally no sleep at all. Cuddlebug did not like the kennel last night. She woke up at like 6.30. She's definitely teething. Puppies always teeth. I've also been playing Michelle Reed's YouTube. I just recently found her. She's so good. If you guys are looking for like a new YouTuber to watch, I feel like her videos are super like calming and stuff. And I know you guys really like like calming videos because that's what I have. So if you guys are looking for a new YouTuber, her name's Michelle Reed. Okay, it's already like 10 o'clock. It's been a while. Hunter went back to sleep for a little bit because he was up like all night with Coco, but puppies will take like a few days to adjust to it. Some take up to two weeks. We had to like cover up the Christmas tree because she likes the Christmas tree, but we don't want you to be hurt. But Hunter and I are gonna switch right now. He's gonna take over. I'm gonna walk to Whole Foods and get some stuff for us for the week. And also we need like paper towels and stuff. And then I'm also gonna go to the gym really quickly. And then it'll be my turn again. And then he's gonna do homework. So we're kind of just gonna do like shifts. My mom's probably gonna come over a bunch the next couple of weeks just to help us out. And my mom like loves her. My parents came over last night, you guys saw that and just like played with her a bunch. You wanna say hi to our vlog besties? All of our best friends love you. So, <laughs> Hunter's gonna play with her for a little bit. She just ate. Okay, mommy's gonna go work out. Should I just go to Whole Foods and send Trader Joe's because it's quicker? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Do you have any recommendations? We could do chili. We haven't done that in a while. We could do, do chili. chili. workout i went stopped at whole foods to pick hunter and i up some lunch just because obviously we're taking care of little coco so we don't have time to cook oh shoot babe your pizza almost fell out buffalo chicken, buffalo chicken. yes Thank yeah. you. They're definitely cold. I didn't know if we had rice, so I got some rice. So I'm doing salmon rice bowls for lunch. One of my favorite meals. If you follow Emily Mariko on TikTok, I you know this. If you have a TikTok, you've seen this before. It's salmon, rice. I don't like to use mayo, that's just like not my thing. Sriracha and then seaweed crackers. Are these called chips or crackers? Seaweed snack. Whole Foods really uh screwed me over on this one. Look at look how tiny the salmon is compared to the green. Okay. So Baby salmon and a million greens, but I'm gonna warm this up. I'm so hungry. Okay, here's the lunch spread. We have the green beans. It has a little bit of onions and parsley in it. And then we also have some salmon, brown rice. I got the sriracha out. This is the one from Whole Foods. It's so good. It's by Yellowbird. And then the seaweed snacks. Also, I need to get coconut aminos. I always put coconut aminos on my rice bowls, so. Are you awake from your nap? Did you have a good nap? You still tired? Oh, 
back to sleep. Okay, really quick grocery haul. We went to Trader Joe's. I got celery, spinach, frozen spinach. I'm gonna test out frozen spinach in my smoothies. I always get apples. We got some cuties, they looked good. Sweet potatoes, bananas, avocado, berries, limes, lemons. Obviously had to get my shots. They only had turmeric today, not ginger. I almost cried. Some vegetable broth. I got this avocado oil spray for like making eggs and stuff. I always get a can of black beans. I have that a lot for lunch. I got the spicy cashew butter dressing. So good. My new obsession. Some raw almond butter. I was out. Chips. Asparagus for one night this week. Brown rice. I got two types of meat. We got chicken because I'm going to do soup tomorrow. And then we got some ground turkey breast for taco bowls. And then some pico for the chips. So I'm going to put everything away. And then we're going to make some dinner. Did it a little bit different tonight. We're gonna do rice bowls and then I just have a salad on the side. For the salad, I'm gonna use the spicy cashew butter dressing that I told you guys I was obsessed with. And then some avocado, onion. I'm gonna do some onion in the salad too. The ground turkey, which we just used the Siete taco seasoning. It smells so good. get some coffee my camera honestly might die i forgot to charge it last night so we might switch to hunter's iphone what iphone do you have the 13 pro max he has like a really good iphone it has a really good camera apparently it's supposed to be as good as the camera so we'll see in a second if i have to switch to it she did so good last night she slept through the entire night like she woke up a few times but i think just kind of like readjust in her bed and then we woke up at 6 30 she went potty had breakfast she is so cute I've been waking up early with her and then letting Hunter sleep a little bit because if she wakes up in the middle of the night, he's gonna grab her. Oh, we're gonna go get some coffee. <laughs> but I wanted to give you guys an update because I know the first night she did not sleep very well, but the second night she was so good in the kennel. Then you slept right by mommy. I'll do the sausage and cheddar. And egg bites. And then can I do red pepper egg bites? Can I do light milk milk? Can I do light milk milk? Coco already fell asleep. I think the sugar cookie syrup is now my new favorite. I think it's better than the white mocha syrup. What do you think? Oh yeah, the sugar cookie. Why don't you keep getting the sugar cookie one? So I need the caffeine, babe. You can get a sugar cookie cold brew. Uh, Hunter thinks that you can only order the drinks on the Starbucks menu. If any of you guys are like Starbucks baristas, how would he order a venti sweet cream vanilla cold brew, but instead of the vanilla pumps in it, the sugar cookie? Because I feel like that would be so good. But Coco's asleep. She's not a light sleeper at all. We'll be like playing YouTube super loud. She can literally sleep through anything. <laughs> So good like I can't even explain it last night was so perfect there was like really nothing that went wrong last night she fell right asleep she woke up a few times to like adjust but I think that that's normal definitely not pee pad trained but she's literally seven weeks I think it could take up to like six months to be potty trained so obviously whatever I have some work stuff to do today it's been working really well to like do it in shifts I want to show you guys everything that we got at PetSmart I feel like I didn't really do a good job at showing you guys we got her a bunch of these little chew toys I really like them because I can hold on to it and kind of like play with her with it we got her these little bites from home goods we got these two little bowls an eat bowl a drink bowl we got these bones these are like chicken flavored I think and then we also got her some pee pads we ended up getting her a leash but it doesn't fit her so we need to get a new one do that today we're gonna go to Starbucks because we like it when she goes out she can't like touch the floor or anything obviously she's such a new puppy until I think 37 weeks so she can't see any other dogs or anything so we can't take her on walks but luckily we actually have a really big apartment for her to play do you love it here? Yeah. Come here, baby. I love you. Mommy's out of breath. No. The nighttime is like my favorite part of the day now because Coco just like lays with me in bed. We like 100% decided that Coco is going to be her official name. We just feel like it suits her the best. I really like honey, but I just feel like she looks more like a Coco. I'm about to make some dinner. I've been obsessed with soups lately. I feel like just because it's like the winter time. I mean, I guess I'm always obsessed with soups. Is it even cold outside? I feel like we haven't gone outside since getting Coco. Obviously, she's not allowed to go outside. She can't put her paws on the floor. Can't leave. Can't do anything. Can't go in public, which I would take that. 
any day for you. My dinner for the night, I just warmed it up. The sour cream or cream cheese at the end makes it literally a million times better. Coco already fell asleep from the last time I picked up the camera, which was exactly one minute ago. Face is so red, I just washed it, it's the end of the night. So it's our nighttime routine. I have a whole new nighttime routine. It's my favorite part of the night. We always lay in bed. I say always, but it's been like three days. So I just washed my face, got ready for bed. This is just like my favorite part of the night. Hunter already put her in bed, but we have the crate right next to the side that I sleep on so that when she does start to whine, I just put my fingers in the crate. And then we put this blanket on the bed with her, just the Barefoot Dreams blanket. Shaughnessy loves it, so whatever. guys taking a second to vlog while Poco kind of calms down she was sleeping like five seconds ago now she's awake are you tired i wanted to do an outfit of the day because this is like the comfiest pj set i've ever slept in this is my sam's top that i've been wearing i'm gonna order a few more because i'm so obsessed with it if you've been watching my last few videos you know i'm obsessed with it and then i also just got these aloe like sleep pants i have them rolled up because she was biting them but hopefully you guys can see they're so cute aloe makes some of my favorite stuff because they honestly have such comfy fabric i really like that there's like a tie i thought i would show you guys those Look at what Hunter brought me home from school. Only 10 a.m. right now, and it feels like I've been awake since literally yesterday. So I don't really mind having two coffees. I know that for the past like two months, I haven't been letting myself have two coffees just because it keeps me up at night. But since my second one is at literally 10 a.m., it doesn't keep me up at night. So I've been having two coffees a day. One at home, one at Starbucks. The usual, I just did a grande iced coffee today with a splash of coconut milk. My second favorite coffee when I'm not really in the mood for something sweet. Sit. Coco, sit. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Okay, I just got ready for the day. Also made some egg bites. Hunter brought me home egg bites this morning, like right after I'd made the avocado toast. Oh, come here. Kind of been eating out a lot, which is fine. It happens. That's life. There's like a million and ten things that I love about having a dog so far. It's like the first week. So these are like my things. The number one thing I think is keeping me on a schedule and like waking up early. I'm also usually in like the worst habit of falling asleep super, super late. Like literally like 2 a.m. sometimes. Editing and stuff like that. So having cocoa has made me fall asleep at like 10.30, which is literally unheard of for me. Like I don't remember the last time I fell asleep at 10.30. Maybe when I worked at Orange Theory and was like waking up at 4 a.m. for work, which was like three years ago. So I love that. I know it probably looks like the exact same spot from earlier, but we're just technically in quarantine at this point. I can't really leave, can't really do much. I kind of like it though. It's giving me 2020 March vibes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> she like loves flesh. It's the difference between us and a chew toy. Do you want a chew toy? This is what we chew. <gasps> Good girl. Oh, oh, oh. I might have to cut my hair. This is our life 24 7 now. Okay, we decided for dinner We're just gonna go in the car and figure it out. We're gonna pick something up being a dog mom has taken the life out of me this week I've barely worked out barely cooked I'm just like giving all of my attention to Coco and anytime she's sleeping I'm just like doing work. I put my hair up in a cute little clip from MEJ I'm wearing Princess Polly sweatshirt if you guys already saw that sit down video This is like the comfiest sweatshirt that I own. I'm wearing Daily Jill's sweatpants New Balance this is the running to get dinner like uniform at this point. Ended up making some salmon for dinner. the video off. I've already showed you guys Coco a million times. We're obsessed with her. Obsessed is an understatement. <laughs> I thought I was obsessed with you. <laughs> obsessed with her. Coco, that's my sleep. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I honestly hope that you guys enjoyed it because the puppy content is probably not going to go anywhere. She's going to be a huge part of my life now. I'm excited to do like a morning routine with her, night routine with her, just like so many different videos. Also, I definitely need to film like a getting back into my routine video because, oh, she has been the main character of my life this week and I need to get back to it. I've been so off my routine. Like, I yeah, literally worked out maybe once this week. Okay. I'm out here waking up at 6 a.m. 
Yeah, Hunter does not wake up early. The fact that you're waking up early for her shows you love her. Let's say bye to the vlog. Goodbye vlog, we love you. <laughs>